opened a Kung Fu Academy in Los Angeles' Chinatown. Jerry Poteet was the second student admitted to the College Street School after Daniel Lee and was a member of a select group that trained with Bruce Tuesdays and Thursdays in Chinatown and Saturday and Wednesday at Bruce's house. After shunning the limelight for years, Jerry Poteet has emerged to go public with the art of Jeet Kune Do as it existed before the untimely death of its founder during the College Street era. Hello, I'm Jerry Poteet, and I want to welcome you to this series in Jeet Kune Do. It was my privilege to be one of Bruce Lee's students back in the late 1960s. He was a teacher and a friend to me. In these tapes, I want to pass on the information that was taught to me. I haven't added anything to it, and hopefully, I haven't left anything out. Thank you. Energy is a difficult subject to write about or to explain. You can watch the moves, but you really have to feel it to begin to understand it. Crossing arms with an opponent is the way we train. We call it a reference point. Naturally, you don't walk up to a foe and cross arms and start to fight. It's just a training method, a place to start. Bruce Lee had a saying that he inserted in this training. To hear is to be lied to, to see is to be deceived, but to feel is to believe. In this sequence, I'm delivering a back fist on the first move to hit and to draw a response, enabling me to move into trapping range. Forward energy is demonstrated here with a pak sao, or slapping hand. The main forward motion here is the punch. The pak sao is just to clear the way to hit. The pak sao has to collapse the opponent's arms toward him, not down. Lop sao or grabbing hand is used against an opposing force to clear the way to hit. The lop sao is a secondary force. The punch is primary. Jut sao, or jerking hand, is used here to clear the way to hit with the same hand. The springing energy is used by your opponent to obstruct the way to deflect the hit. Pak Sao, or slapping hand, was the first energy training taught by Bruce in Chinatown. The first time Bruce crossed arms with me, he said, okay, Pak Sao. As I moved to slap his arm, he had turned his back and stepped away from me. My Pak Sao was left hanging in midair. I felt so bad. I didn't know what I'd done wrong. When he turned back and saw the look on my face, he laughed and told me that I needed a more economic structure, and I telegraphed my move telling him what I was going to do. The slapping hand must move like you're throwing a punch. It should explode against your opponent's arm, moving it toward his body, so that the punching hand that's nearest the target can slip through and hit its mark.
In this demonstration is the most common mistake. I'm using Paxao with a downward energy. My opponent takes my downward energy and redirects it against me, striking the temple area with the heat of the hand or with an open hand over the ear. At the same time, controlling or trapping my right hand with a Jutsao. In this sequence, my opponent attacks using a Paxao, but making the mistake of using a downward force. Instead of hitting, I grab the hair, enabling me to isolate the target for a series of hits. Again, the Paxao has to explode to clear the way. The hit is primary. <laughs> 